up, she turned out. Yeah, she turned. Hey. <laughs> hey, yo, what's good, you guys? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's Boomer with Bali Star, and today we are getting into Bill Burr reacts to Dave Chappelle getting a check, getting attacked. You feel me? Attacked. Uh, I don't know why. I feel like that should be a word. Attacked. It's not a word, but I feel like it could really mean something. Attacked. Huh. But anyways, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, y'all saw the news, you know what I'm saying? Of uh, the infamous dude who ran up on stage and, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Attacked our boy, you know what I'm saying? Attacked the guy, the man of the, you know what I'm saying? He's one of the men of the decade, you feel me? Of a couple decades, actually, you know? It's, it's crazy, but... You know, homie got stomped out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he got what he deserved. Uh, end up... Pff, pff, yeah, he just ended up, like, freaking wrecked, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I mean, y'all saw the pictures, man. Homie got wrecked. Um, fortunately, like, they didn't charge him. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just charged him as a misdemeanor. They charged it as a misdemeanor since it wasn't an actual, like, gun, but it was a knife. I mean, I I just don't know how that makes sense. You feel me? But yeah, it is what it is, you know. So, homie still got what he deserved anyway. So, um, but somebody said this, well, Will Smith has opened uh, uh, the gates of, like, this being, like, you know, that this could happen. And honestly, what homie got really solidified that a hey, this can really happen to y'all and they will not get the most severe punishment you feel me i mean again it just it it, it, it was just a can of worms opened you know so uh yeah people gotta stay in their p's and q's now you feel me for real for real because who knows what will happen? Honestly, I'm just wondering, like, uh, where was security? Like, I thought security would be walking in front of the stage, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, down where the people were in their seats, but walking with Dave or something. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying, like, you know, treat him like he's a president or something, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. These, these things are liable. I mean, you, you, you will never know what is happening. After the Will Smith thing, is like, you'll know that could happen with normal people now. But now that we've seen it happen, yeah, security got to stay in the P's and Q's with these comedians now. Or whoever it, uh, is performing on stage, whether it be comedy, music, um, acting, you know what I'm saying? Broadway even, you know, if it's some big star doing Broadway now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just saw Pamela Anderson. She, uh, she did Broadway the other day. You feel me? Like, people got to stay in the P's and Q's. Stuff is serious out here, man. So, yeah, man. Without further ado, man, let's get into it, man. Bill Burr reacts to Dave Chappelle. Let's get it. My week's going fucking great. I just had my last stressful gig of the year. All right? Now, the rest of them, I can just fucking have a good time and try not to get tackled while I do my shit jokes. Uh, I like that people are saying, do you say you're worried now? Do you think it's good? Are you worried as a comedian that things are going to happen? It's like, no. These crazy people only seem to be attacking black comedians in Los Angeles. All right? <laughs> Obviously. Now, I am in Los Angeles, but I am as white as a bed sheet. All right? And I'm proud of that. And you can't take that away from me or else that's reverse something or other, I think. It's a double standard. Reverse racism. Um, Wait, no, still why can't I racism. be proud of my alabaster legs? God knows I pay for it every summer. Dude, look how fucking white your legs are. I realize that. Dude, your legs could be president. Um, <laughs> anyway, so last night, I I had to host a show for Netflix. Um... I hosted this show during the, you know, they're having the big Netflix comedy festival out here, which has been fucking amazing. All of these comedians that I've been running into, it's been such a great time. You know, when lunatics aren't, you know, charging up at the stage. 
Jesus Christ, did they fuck that guy up? I think he has mental issues, so there's a part of me, aside from the weapon, that I actually, I saw the sadness in his eyes. But Jesus Christ, his fucking arms look like, you know... You guys ever see Toy Story, what Sid does to his toys? That's what his arms look like. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say a freaking twisted noodle, one of those twisted no uh, pasta noodles, but that is a better analogy. I don't know. That kid needs help. I hope he gets help. I hope he does. But um, I mean, it's kind of premeditated because like, people have been saying like he, you know what I'm saying, he's a rapper, you know what I'm saying, but... He made a song that was actually premeditated. Like he made a song called Dave Chappelle, and he, like, he one of his lyrics said like "run up in the Rose Bowl" or something like. Oh, me been plotting or something, man. Shout out to the cunts that still brought their cell phones in and still filmed. It's just fucking ridiculous, man. You just can't do a show without somebody filming it on some level. I don't know. Put your cell phones That's what in I'm the saying. Like, I mean, I get you want the show to be authentic, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, come on, man. Like, because I was just thinking, too, it's like, if it wasn't caught on cell phone, if it was never caught on cell phone, would it still have been broadcasted? Would people still have known or seen it on the news? Were there a professional cameraman there that would have grabbed the incident? Like, how would it, this been known if their people had brought in their cell phones you know what i'm saying i don't know i don't know man it's crazy crazy man but uh yeah let's see what let's guys say just sit there like adults is that so fucking hard no man i gotta film it man i gotta get likes man i gotta get some friends on my fucking account man aren't you guys so that was billboard reacting to Dave Chappelle getting attacked I get where he's coming from here, you know what I'm saying? People will use it for clout, you know what I'm saying? So it's sort of like a double-edged sword here, you feel me? But uh, y'all let me know your thoughts about down in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, homie got turned into a Wetzel's pretzel, bro. This is, the, <laughs> this is a Wetzel's pretzel personified, you feel me? But um, yeah, again, y'all let me know your thoughts. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, man, some tunes of my own about to come up, you know, some, don't worry, no premeditated stuff, you feel me? I, uh, it's just me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not mixed up by anybody else. Well, unless it's like in reference to, but it's never no, like, premeditated stuff like this dude, you know what I'm saying? So I'm a clean cut. If you don't believe me, just check it out yourself. Got snippets right here, you feel me? Well, I'll hunt it. I know that I've been gone out of line I've been going through with this life that I've assigned to Know that as I'm riding through the city I still keep on the fit And I'm feeling all so litty with the time Yeah, it goes down in the bar Girls all flashing, I'm down in the water